Welcome back. The Lake Fire, which began on Friday afternoon, is now the largest in California for the year 2024. For an update on the Lake Fire, we welcome in Captain Scott Safechuck, PIO for Santa Barbara County Fire, who's at base camp right now in Santa Maria. Thank you for joining us, Captain Safechuck. Good morning. Good morning, Joey. Thanks for having me on the air. You're welcome. Captain Safechuck, what is it looking like out there? Yeah, well, uh, you can see we're at base camp here. Uh, in the background, uh, this base camp is still increasing. Today we have 2,485 personnel uh, assigned to the incident. And this uh, tomorrow, this, this uh, background here will have doubled in size because uh, they're building a second base camp because this fire continues to grow. Uh, it's at 26,176 acres with 12% containment. Uh, we are happy with that containment. We are making progress in an area that's visible uh, from Los Olivos, and it's that west side of the fire of Fox and Canyon, and we're slowly marching it in both directions to increase that, uh, that uh, containment line. Today, we're expecting more fire activity. Uh, it's been unique because at night, we have increased fire activity, where most of the time we would get that recovery of relative humidity, that moisture under our vegetation, and we're not getting that. So the crews at night are experiencing uh, heavy fire behavior in those upper elevations. And with that red flag warning, that's just going to increase that fire behavior. We do have moderate fire behavior right now. We're going into a red flag at noon till nine o'clock tonight, which will affect this portion of the county uh, where the fire is uh, in that west side of Los Olivos and the uh, San Inez Valley. And as you mentioned, a red flag warning has been issued for the Santa Barbara Interior Mountains, including higher elevations of the Lake Fire and the western Santa Inez Range with the sundowner winds and low humidity. The excessive heat warning has been extended as well. Captain Safechuck, how are fire crews going to prepare for critical fire weather as the Lake Fire continues to burn? Sorry, we had a truck that just turned on, so I'm not sure if that's going to affect the sound here. Uh, but what we... The firefighters are dealing with the heat. They're staying hydrated. And uh, I'm gonna kind of just move this back while I'm talking. It's uh, a lot of work for these firefighters to deal with the heat uh, because it dries them out, makes them dehydrated when they're working in that steep terrain. And uh, so they have to maintain their hydration. And at the same time, we have expectations of, for them to do their job in that heat. We're here to protect the community. And so they're doing a great job with, at it. They're used to working in temperatures like this. This is just the beginning of fire season, and we have seasoned veterans out here doing some really good work. Now, Captain Safechuck, how many resources are out there? Yeah, I uh, well, I can tell you the resources vary with 20, you know, just under 2,500 uh, personnel out here. We have lots of Type 1 helicopters, fixed wing aircrafts, resources from all over the United States. We have, because we're a unified command, with the U.S. Forest Service, Cal Fire, and Santa Barbara County Fire, uh, and the incident management team here, uh, it takes a lot of people to put out, uh, which is right now the largest fire burning in California. And Captain Safechuck, at this point in time, what is the biggest concern with the Lake Fire? Uh, can you repeat that one question one more time? At, at this point in time, what would be the biggest concern for with the Lake Fire? Yeah, well, the biggest concern is the fire behavior. As we put crews uh, you know, when I say crews, I mean hand crews, firefighters with hose lines, getting into that steep terrain, uh, it's dangerous out there. You know, you have that when that heat and the wind comes through, we're expecting gusts up to 25 miles an hour. It'll flare up the, those flame lengths and, you know, they can reach uh, an upwards of 100 feet. Uh, so when we're when we're dealing with flames like that, we have to kind of pull back to a, kind of a safer area, let those aircrafts get in there, knock that fire down. Uh, and then we re-engage. So it's a, a combination of tactics from air and ground, and they work seamlessly together no matter what the conditions are. So we can just keep marching and uh, increasing that containment line. Now, Captain Safechuck, can you walk us through how the fire crews are combating the fire? Are they assigned to different parts of the fire? And how many are on that line? Yeah, so if you consider, if you think of the fire, it has a perimeter. So if we think of a circle, and then you divide it up like a, a piece of pie into, let's say, 12 sections, depending on, you know, the, the topography and uh, the intensity of the fire, we might slice that pie up even more. We use an alphabet uh, system from A to Z. So uh, we have firefighters assigned to each one of those divisions. Each one of those divisions has uh, a network of resources out there. 
from fire engines to hand crews, bulldozers, and then they're working with air attack to coordinate those uh, aircraft in there. And then we just make those incremental uh, containment lines increase so that we make sure that once we're, we've got an area out, it's not going to continue to burn behind us. Ca Captain Scott Savechuck, we thank you for joining us here on Midday. Good luck out there. Thank you again. Great. Thank you. And if I could recap just one thing, a message for uh, everyone in the community, you should be signing up for your uh, emergency alerts at readysbc.org. You can get uh, phone notifications, email notifications for evacuations or for potential threats to where you live, uh, as well as you can find uh, evac center phone numbers and shelters on there as well and information regarding the fire. Sounds good. And we will direct our audience to that website as well. Captain Scott Safechuck, thank you. Thank you. And we're continuing.